Recently, news came in about another major construction project in China. What makes the matter worse is that China has only 9% of the world's arable land and nearly 20% of the world's population. There's a desert transformation happening that sounds almost too wild to believe. China has done the impossible. A country once known for vast stretches of arid land is now cultivating fresh seafood in the middle of the desert. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine a place known for scorching heat by day, freezing cold by night, and endless stretches of sand, now producing tiger shrimp, abalone, and even lobster. How did this happen? Let's dive into how China has not only greened its deserts, but created a literal sea of life in some of the most inhospitable environments on Earth. 30 years ago, China's deserts were an unforgiving expanse of sun, wind, and sand. Nothing like the green, thriving landscapes we see today. The government saw untapped potential in these desolate areas, particularly for agriculture. While the world looked at deserts as barren wastelands, China envisioned something greater, fertile ground where nothing once grew. They didn't just stop at planting trees. Using cutting-edge terraforming technology, China began transforming its deserts into productive agricultural land. The Xinjiang region, home to the country's longest desert highway, was one of the focal points. Trees began lining the roads and green fields emerged where only sand had stood for centuries. But the real breakthrough came when China took it even further. They began cultivating seafood in these newly reimagined deserts. Freshwater and saltwater fish farms have sprung up in the heart of Xinjiang. According to reports, this is all thanks to a groundbreaking project by Xi Xian Aquaculture Company, founded in 2022. What makes this so extraordinary is the desert's natural salt water, which closely mimics seawater conditions. They took advantage of the saline alkaline soil added micronutrients, and simulated marine environments to raise seafood that would typically require an ocean. In mid-August, news of this remarkable achievement spread, especially amid growing concerns over seafood security. China's response to Japan's release of nuclear wastewater, banning all Japanese seafood products, has only amplified the significance of this development. China is now in a position to provide seafood to its inland areas, making it less dependent on international imports. Xi Xi Xin's pilot project features 16 indoor ponds housed in greenhouses, which help regulate temperature differences in the desert. Currently, the company is cultivating eight different species of seafood, starting indoors before transferring them to outdoor ponds. What seemed impossible just a few decades ago is now a reality. China has turned its barren deserts into thriving ecosystems, reshaping not only its landscape, but also its future. China has long been the world's top seafood producer, accounting for 18% of the global catch. But with geopolitical tensions, climate change, and war shaking the global food market, Beijing is more focused than ever on food security. The goal to become more self-reliant in agriculture, and Xinjiang is playing a key role in that mission. The region is one of seven pilot areas where China is cultivating salt alkaline rice, also known as seawater rice, to boost crop yields in tough desert conditions. Historically, Xinjiang's fish farms relied on freshwater from high-altitude lakes, fed by snowmelt and underground reservoirs. But the vision for the future is even bigger. By 2025, Xinjiang aims to produce 30,000 tons of seafood annually, part of a nationwide plan to hit a staggering 69 million tons that same year. This initiative is not just about sustainability. It's about turning a once inhospitable landscape into an agricultural powerhouse, where innovation and hard work are reshaping the region's future. Xinjiang's transformation is a remarkable feat, and at the heart of it all lies Lake Boston. 
Located in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region, Lake Boston is no ordinary lake. It's the largest inland freshwater body in all of China. And during its peak fishing season, from August to October, it becomes a hive of activity. Since 2018, the Kaidu River has funneled 87 million cubic meters of fresh water into the lake, not only improving the lake's water quality, but also revitalizing its ecosystem. The reed beds of Lake Boston, stretching across more than 40,000 hectares, act as natural purifiers. They filter water, provide habitats for a diverse range of bird species, and sustain aquatic life. To date, over 198 species of birds have been spotted here, making it a haven for wildlife. This thriving ecosystem has turned Lake Boston into Xinjiang's largest fish production base, with over four tons of seafood harvested each year, including grass carp, freshwater shrimp, and crabs. One local crab farmer proudly shared that last year alone, 36 million crab seeds were released into the lake. The results? A rich harvest starting in August this year, with plans to expand farming operations to include Australian freshwater lobsters. Xinjiang's seafood production is not just a local success, it's making waves across China, with the region producing a total of 173 tons of seafood in 2022, second only to other provinces in the northwest. The dream of creating a sea in the middle of a desert may sound like science fiction, but it's a testament to China's relentless drive to innovate and thrive in seemingly impossible environments. This isn't the first time such an idea has surfaced. In fact, back in 1957, a bold plan was proposed to flood the Sahara Desert and create the so-called Sahara Sea. Scottish engineer Donald Mackenzie envisioned a 644-kilometer canal that would bring the waters of the Atlantic into the barren El Jeff Basin, transforming it into a massive inland sea the size of Ireland. And he wasn't the only one. In the 1870s, Captain Francois Elie Rudaire of the French Army had a similar vision for the Sahara, proposing a 193-kilometer canal to connect the Mediterranean Sea to a salt lake in southern Tunisia. His plan even had the backing of Ferdinand de Lesseps, the mastermind behind the Suez Canal. While neither project ever came to fruition, their ambition sparked imaginations worldwide, even inspiring Jules Verne's 1905 novel, Invasion of the Sea. Though those early efforts failed, the dream of turning deserts into seas continues. And now, with Xinjiang leading the way, China is showing the world that with enough vision and determination, even the most desolate landscapes can be transformed into thriving ecosystems. But the idea of reclaiming deserts isn't unique to China. In Egypt, the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission once proposed a wild plan to flood the Sahara Desert. Their plowshare project calculated that 213 nuclear bombs would need to be detonated to carve a canal into the Katara Depression. In a world that's running out of fertile land, China's success in reversing desertification is nothing short of extraordinary. Their ability to turn barren deserts into productive green spaces has given hope to countries grappling with this challenge. What are your thoughts on China's incredible achievements? Drop your comments below and make sure to stay tuned for our next video.